guys, to solidify our knowledge, we will create a simple contract with some variables that uh, some of them will be modified only by the owner and we will create an initializer for the contract. Remember that the initializer or constructor, it's only only once and that's when you deploy the contract. So let's go and let's create a new file. Let's call it dummy. And dummy. We will have the pragma solidity carrot for 0.4.0 remember this is to solidify our knowledge and here we put the version of solidity so let's create our contract contract dummy contract and we will have a variable of type string called the word we will have a ui int that's an unsigned integer it will be just be a number and we will have an address that will be the address of the owner so we can register the creator of this contract so let's create the initializer or constructor this uh, remember it must be the same name dummy contract this will have some parameters because we will be able to pass a string to change our new world when we initialize it so word will be word then number it will just be the number 42 and owner will be the message dot sender that's the address of the the person that created the contract we will see now a new stuff an event an event is like something where you log an event like uh, when you have another programming language and you write something to the console well this event called chained will register the address that has made the recent change then we'll have our modifier we saw it on the previous video so that it will be only modified by the owner this is pretty simple and we will see it in a different way instead of creating an if variable we will try the require require we will require that the message dot sender will be equal to the owner so that's pretty much the same as the if statement then this and it's done now we will create the the getter for the word get word you we will return the word and of course we need to make this constant returns something of type string okay we're almost there now we need our setter function set word here we will have a new word and it will be only modified by the owner, only owner, that's our modifier. And the word it will be the new letter W, that's the word we put on the constructor. And we will log the event change it with the message.sender, and that's how we will be able to register who changed it. So now I having an issue, only owner. What do I have wrong? I, there it is, only order. So now if you see, when we create the contract, we need to pass it a variable because here it, it says that it needs a word. So I will put my name, Nicolas, and I will create the contract. So we have the contract. If we go get word, it says Nicolas. Now I can change it to the name of my parrot, Polly, <laughs> and I will set the word, it's done. And here, if you see an event, we have a variable change it and here is my address then i go get the word and it says poly now i change another address i get the word poly i will change it to poly2 set word exception because i can't and of course the event was not registered as well okay next time we'll see something better but now we have solidified our basic knowledge of smart contract see you there